Hey guys, today I am going to be talking about cruising, mainly one thing that I would avoid on the carnival cruise if you have ever taken one or will take one, um, I'll try to make it short and sweet. One of the things that I think you should avoid while cruising, and this is if you're on a budget or you don't want to spend a lot, um, is and this is what uh, they they have all kinds of things to do an itinerary for every day and they encourage you to go to these shows and they they kind of get you with free giveaways for you to go um one of the things they said that they would give us if we attended this was a charm for a charm bracelet right and you think oh it's cute charm bracelet um you'll get a charm bracelet if you attend now i attended the fun finds shopping um i guess show with uh their personal shopper called floor she's i don't know if she's she's european obviously but i don't know what part of europe um and they get so enthusiastic about the savings and the savings and no taxes and all this stuff um when you're over uh, in mexico and how it's duty free Anyways, I'm not a big shopper. I like going and relaxing mostly, having a drink or two, um, going to the free activities and all that, and trying the food. I do spend on the restaurant um, on board because we like steak and all that. So, But this is how they bring you in. They tell you they're going to give you a free charm bracelet. Where is the charm bracelet? Oh. So this is the charm that everybody receives for going. And now this is not gold. It's not even silver. It is not even stamped. So I don't know who would wear this, because I, to be honest, I wouldn't wear this. The least they could do is have silver there, I, at least I think. Um, and then they don't tell you this, but you have to go, when you dock in Puerto Vallarta or in Cabo, they have a, a store there, Diamonds International, that will give you, um, they give you a coupon and in and, and exchange they give you and they call it a diamond charm net like uh, bracelet does that if you guys can't even see it you guys probably can't see it because it won't focus but I mean it's not a diamond it might be like the cheapest most cloudy no I don't even think there's anything in there it, it just looks like a white it looks like glue is what it looks like um, and this is also not gold it's not even gold plated it's not silver I'm pretty sure if I wear it it'll turn green my wrist green and this is what you get this is how they lure you in so I went to the show and they tell you about all these uh, discounted things that they have in the shops to get you to go in and then one of the things that they push is this it's called the Caribbean coupon book a uh, fun finds book okay this is $25 it's a coupon book that they're selling you what they don't tell you is that this is it doesn't have anything really for you to use on the boat it, they tell you that it comes with recipes that you can probably find online to be honest it tells you that it comes with great coupons and that it comes with postcards that you can send to your friends so they can be envious of you yeah that's their pitch um, but they don't tell you is that these coupons are different ports of call um, and there's only two tabs on here that you will actually use if you go to the Mexican Riviera, Riviera um, cruise uh, they have a tiny tiny little t like um, tab for Puerto Vallarta which only had two coupons in it which I could not use because the shops were closed already and then and had been closed for over a year and then they give you coupons for Cabo San Lucas and then they lure you in with this okay they give you another charm for your charm bracelet right for free uh, you just have to step foot in the store mind you I'm one of those people that it's I can't say no to free so I go and I get this this charm which is just a piece of metal I don't even know what it is it's not silver because it's not stamped it's not gold 
it's silver looking I guess it's metal looking so it will definitely not match this bracelet so I can't put it on here so that's that for $25 that's what you get um, they also tell you they'll give you some tanzanite oh there goes one stud earrings which one of them is crooked did I lose it oh sorry guys um, tanzanite right I this is probably gonna hurt my ears because uh, once again it's not stamped it's not you could barely even see it they're tiny tiny little studs um, it's not sparkly it's it's kind of greenish like lime green I'm not sure but they're not stamped so for sure they're not silver and they're not gold so I won't be able to wear these because it will hurt my ears um, and this is what they say to get you to buy the book the the woman floor she's like you know I mean it's $25 for all the savings that you get and you get coupons in here for um, different jewelry stores like $50 good as cash towards a purchase of $250 or more they say free silver charm but it's not even silver free Aruba watch with the purchase of $500 or more so most of these are like with the purchase of a certain amount um, and I didn't use there's nothing in here for there's like here for a get a free gift if you attend the art auction which is something that they already offer um, there's not any coupons that are of real value in here not $25 worth to be honest and they get you with this free diamond international heart necklace is what it says on the book if she said if you don't buy it for anything else at least buy it for the free necklace so for $25 I paid for scrap metal to me and this this is the diamond heart necklace it is it does look like the picture but I don't see a diamond in here and if that is a diamond it is the cloudiest diamond chip that I've ever seen in my whole life um, and I did see a couple of diamonds look when I was going with Ron to look at different diamonds for my engagement ring and once again this is not gold plated it's not silver plated it's I don't know what metal it is it feels very light and flimsy it's not stamped so I know it's not silver and I looked for a stamp anywhere and there is no stamp anywhere and then I did see the necklace that they had on display that is the the real diamonds international heart necklace uh, which retails at, I, I believe like $200 or something like that I believe this is a replica that they give away but it has no value at all but they they tell you this they mark it as a diamonds international heart you know necklace this is what they market it as and they tell you the value of it um, and then you go and you get your booklet and you look at the coupons and there you go you look at the coupons and you're disappointed and what they don't tell you is and they tell you there's refunds for anything that you buy on the boat if you're not satisfied so when I went to go and tell them about this oh and by the way on the front of the book it says free Del Sol tote bag and it is a tote bag that changes colors in the sun I'm like cool I would I would be happy if I had just gotten that I went to go find the store in Cabo they closed a year ago so the coupon was useless I was annoyed because the minute that I complained about the book, nobody wanted to take responsibility for it. They didn't want to take it off of my tab because they said it's a third party that I would have to go talk to Floor and that they would write her message to get in contact with me because her hours were different on the boat, right? Because when I went to the stand, she wasn't there. So they left her a message. She never ever contacted me. Um, I did pass by the booth once and she was busy with people talking to them about buying the book and I was just really disappointed at how they pushed this book they literally sold it to you and I'm really a really hard person to sell but when they talked about all the values that they have in this book and they don't let you see it before you buy it and then they only say they have a limited, a limited amount on hand and so they go one two three and everybody rushes to the front to go get one and they're like oh we don't have any more but we'll try to get more 
they have enough. Um, it's just, don't fall for it. The book, you're not going to use it. I mean, are you going to go to the Caribbean? Are you going to go to Cozumel? Are you going to go to Key West? Are you going to go to all these places where they have these coupons? No, you're only going to use two or three coupons out of here, and it's it's for garbage. It's for stuff that's valued at nothing. And I think that um, this all this stuff put together wasn't even worth $25. So don't buy the book. I wouldn't recommend it. I'm really unhappy with it. Um, and like I said, nobody wanted to take responsibility for it. Nobody wanted to give me a refund. So what I ended up doing is calling my bank and um, filing a dispute for those $25 charge. And they're disputing it out with Carnival right now. So that's what I ended up doing because I felt very misled by the book. And I dropped a bunch of stuff. But that's my one number one thing to avoid is purchasing things that are too good to be true it usually is too good to be true um i also won something there i won uh, a charm bracelet a, it's, have you guys ever seen the pandora charm bracelets the one with the removable removable charms on theirs it's called uh bella Par, Par, bella parlina bella parlina let me go get it hold on i won this thank god that i won it and i didn't buy it it's called uh, a bella pa perlina and in here it says, it comes with a little ticket that says it's worth $125, right? They have these on sale, um, on the boat. And I, I was about to give it away as a gift, but then I decided to keep it because I didn't know about the quality. And I'm glad I didn't give it away because the little sparkly things, they started falling off two days after I, well, the second time that I wore it, I noticed that there was some missing and they, and they keep falling out. So that's that. I, I doubt that they would sell something that's worth $125 that they couldn't even glue correctly. Um, and then they have sales for these. In the beginning, they're full price, and then they're half price. And then towards the last two days, they become $19.99 to $39.99, depending on which one you get. And I was going to get some as gifts, but I don't know. Like I said, I didn't know about the quality, and I'm glad I didn't buy them because the, the, the little... I don't know the crystals come off so easily and I did buy two things for my parents on there that looked beautiful they were $19.99 it was a watch and some glasses and for my mom I got her a set of um, a crystal like a, it was a necklace um, a watch and some earrings that were in a pink hue it looked really nice and it was $19.99 so I'm like free yeah, let me just get this for them and if it doesn't work out it, it was only 20 bucks you know so I got that as gifts for them like uh, you know for me going on a trip and I just if I were you and you don't have the extra money to spend I would just go and do whatever is free do not buy anything that's too good to be true because it is too good to be true um, and then I would stick to try try the restaurant at least once because it's great. Um, I did try the steakhouse once and it was absolutely delicious. So those are my tips on what to avoid. Well, one of one of my recommendations on what to avoid when you go on a carnival cruise. I went on the Carnival Miracle, um, sailing from December first to the seventh to uh, Puerto Vallarta for one day and uh, Cabo San Lucas for one day and then coming back. So it was a six day cruise and it was my second cruise with Carnival. And I have to say that I was happy about it um, taking this trip, but just the way that they're selling everything and pushing everything and raising their prices on, you know, pictures and like bingo and all that it was just way too much of a difference from when I went last year to me going this year and um, I'm gonna be looking for a different cruise line to try out and see if maybe um, they have there's something else out there besides carnival cruise